Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I want to apologize this week. I am not feeling well, as you can hear my voice. I have a bad cold. <laughs> I'm trying to recover from. I, um, uh, I'm going to ask you to send me some healing energy. I don't have COVID, no. I already been tested. Um, but uh, uh, I haven't had a call for like five, six years. And by me renovating the house and having that anniversary, uh, my daughter and her husband anniversary and having a party and cooking and missing my other daughter who passed. And it, it's so many things at one time. It kind of bring you down and you don't even know you are you don't even know you are stressed about these things um, you know it's the thoughts the thoughts make a big difference and what i am thinking well what i am stressed about and i'm i'm realizing that really it is everything in the mind and what i want to bring you before we do this coffee cup reading <clears throat> Excuse me. I, I went back to childhood and there used to be this lady. Uh, uh, she was an older lady. She was short, but she had a humpback and her arm was very short, but she was the most educated woman in the village. Everybody respected her and um, uh, and came to her for knowledge, you know. But this woman used to love me, and she will take me to the woods, and we'll go for walks. So just imagine, you guys, we all walk in this life. We all are on a walk. The important part is how we walk it. Are we aware? Are we listening? Are, do we, are we connected with our environment? So we all are on walks, on different walks of life, right? We all are on our walks of life. So uh, uh, she used to say three things, they're still in my mind and I wanna share them with you. She will go, we'll go to the, um, to the pine uh, uh, forest and cedar forest first. And, and it's a little town, so they're not a huge around town. And we'll go and she'll say to me, Yola, feel your feet on the ground. You know, under the pine trees, there's a lot of pines. Uh, the, 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 um, the, and not the nuts, there is nuts, the pine nuts, but there are the pine itself at fall. So grass doesn't grow in there, but she'll say, feel your feet. What do you feel underneath your feet? I can feel the dead needles of the, 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 um, um, the pine. And uh, we will pick the pine cones because all the pine is in there and we'll take it and we pick all the pine and break it and put it in jars for the winter or for the whole year, actually. But anyway, then we will go to the groves, the, the olive groves, and she will say, Iola, take a deep breath, take a deep breath. What do you feel? And I'm like, wow. She said, make sure where you walk in, pay attention to your feet, take a deep breath. And what do you feel in here? Is it the same feeling? No, it is not. Under the pine trees, it was totally different feeling than the breath in between the grove trees. As a little kid, you are more connected. I'm gonna invite you to go to your childhood. And if there is anything you did, go back and listen to yourself, find the, 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 the beautiful connection that you created in nature. We used to, in those days, go and play all over the neighborhoods. All the neighbors looked after, after the kids. Uh, we all, they all looked after 
all the kids in the village, you know, in those days. She'll say, breathe deep, breathe deep, breathe. And she said, pay attention to your breath. And as you pay attention to your breath, I want you to sense the space around you. And I was a little kid. I didn't understand much of these things. But now at older age, I'm like, wow, isn't that what we're supposed to do? I take my grandkids to the woods and, and I make them ask Mother Nature. I'll say, let's wait before we go on the path. Ask Mother Nature to give us a sign. It is okay to go in now. And we'll wait for the sign. And my grandkids will be looking so uh, excited. They're waiting for, for a sign. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. And I remember my granddaughter said, Taita, Taita, look at this dragonfly. It is a blue. It is so huge. I think this is our sign. Or my grandson will, will find an ant or something, a bug. <laughs> Boys are different. And he is so adorable because he's a few years, four years uh, younger than her. And he's so cute. The boys look at things differently, you know? So anyway, and we will walk and I'll say, watch your feet where you walk and feel the ground, feel the ground, feel the trees. And they run and hug the trees. And, and um, uh, the other day we haven't been, it has been so hot in Florida. My grandson came to me and he's seven now. He said, Taita, I need to go to the woods and, and hug the trees. I haven't done that for a while. And I'm like, wow, he really paying attention. <laughs> that is neat, you know? Okay, so let's look at, at the coffee cup. Wow, look at that. I love this coffee cup. Let me see, let me see. <clears throat> wow, okay. You guys, I want you to watch this. I have a pen that was beautiful in here. I don't know where it went. It said, you are amazing. And I'm gonna start telling you, you are amazing. Look at this person right here. Or maybe I have to turn it this way so you guys can see. Look at this person right here. See, they drag and they were dragging their feet all along. Finally, they made a step over. They have a butterfly, a butterfly in front of them. Their hands is up. And they are manifesting something. They're changing something in their life. They're stepping into something in you. You guys, we all going through so much lately. We all want something better. We all want uh, 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 the, the, the feeling of at ease. And, but the world is so crazy around us. So I want you to pay attention in here. There are certain things like the walks. The, there are so many kinds of walks. I mean, life itself is a walk. The journey on this life and our walk uh, through it, it is important. So Watch where you put your feet at. Watch what you do. Watch the steps you make in the transformation. Don't be afraid to move on. Life is moving on and it is your walk that making the difference, right? So pay attention. Take a deep breath. Make sure you take deep breath so you can concentrate and feel everything around you, your space, your life. You can reassess things and feel good about it. Anyway, so this is the man right here. There is this butterfly and he's like 
moving forward, it could be a man or a woman, right? And moving forward, trying to grab the butterfly. There is an angel in here that's watching over you. You're not alone, you guys. You're not alone. You are not alone. And it is hard to get out of... <coughs> <clears throat> sorry. It is hard to really, I'm sorry, I have to hold it this way so I can see better because my head is so stuffy. I need to, I need to see it. I know most of you don't understand all these, <clears throat> but uh, I don't want to leave you without nothing this week. I think this is better than nothing. But I want you to look, look in here. You walk in, you walk in away. Look at this, look at you. You, it's like something is swelling. Life is a swelling on the side. Look at that here and here. But you find an, a way out. You find an, a way through it. And, but for some reason, you don't believe you can manifest it. For some reason, you want to, you want to, you want to move on, but you can't feel, you feel like there is a block. I'm going to invite you uh, to go to this, to, to, to really look at it, be aware of what you're doing, what you're thinking, how you step in into your next uh, manifestation are you breathing deeply are you connecting with everything around it or you are in your mind i want you to get out of your mind because there is a past and when you get out of your mind you have this eye right here you see it your eye chakra once you get out of your head and you connect you find a peace and gentleness within yourself and once you do, oh boy, I hope I put this on, on yes, I'm recording. Huh? Last week I recorded two and I, I didn't even um, put the recording. But anyway, look at this. The minute you, um, you, you uh, ground yourself, uh, watch where you walk in, sense everything around you, do deep breaths, you know, time yourself, take this 10 minutes and take a deep breath for four seconds, hold for four seconds and breathe out for four seconds. I think that will really help you a lot because the minute you do that, the minute you do that, it's like, The minute you do that is like, um, I'm gonna show you because to me, I'm reading here, see? Um, and the minute you, you do that, and the minute you're gonna look at things differently, and then you're gonna find two roads open up, two roads open up for you. You have two things all of a sudden open up for you. And it's taking you all the way up here to a new journey. You see this road and that road bringing you up to a new journey that is more vast, more big, more, <coughs> excuse me, more connected. You have two dots, one and two. And the two dots bring you, which two weeks or two, uh, or two, uh, um, uh, two days, two weeks, or two months, but I'm thinking it is more two weeks, because look, you are meeting someone too, some of you are meeting someone on this journey, you're meeting this person, and you're both moving forward, you know, life is getting better, life, life is always the same, you guys, as how much we grow and how we learn to connect with it and how to deal with things. So the more we grow, the easier it gets. But there is a big dot in here, I will say a month, a month and you're gonna meet somebody for some of you who are really looking to meet someone. Uh, 
okay, you stand in, in here on a, on a, a, a big, uh, um, okay, right down here, you stand in up and you have a rose in your hand. So this is for people who are single, who's looking for love, but nothing ever happened. You have one horse here, one horse there, one horse there. <laughs> Uh, too many men, but nothing ever connected, okay? And all of a sudden, I see you. There is some a tooth in here, which tell me you need to let go of something. Maybe you attracted the same man or the same woman over and over because you didn't, um, you didn't really heal uh, uh, the relationship before but I feel now you get into a point where look at you you're wearing a big wedding gown and a big one here too look at that this is a big huge gown all the way down but the thing is there is something is stopping the celebration up here or in there I want you to be free. I want you, you have a big bird in here. This big bird is a blessing. This big bird is out of this, uh, um, what you call this, um, um, where you put the, the birds in the cage. It's out of the cage. So this big bird is asking you to step out, stop being afraid, be who you are. Because the most important thing in this world is you and who you are and how you portray yourself. You don't have to be like anybody. You don't have to be different. You don't have to be in any way um, um, uh, um, afraid of what people say about you. You're not in the cage no more. So be free, be free, my friend. So the world can open up for you and, and bring, bring uh, um, the peace, you know? Look at this in here. I have to show you, this is really beautiful. Look at that. Look. Look in here. I mean, it is a lot going on for everybody. You trying to control this person, but this person had their back on you. You can't control nobody. You can't control the outcome of anything in life. The only thing you can do is pray and ask the divine, whatever is the divine to you, it doesn't matter, it is all one, whatever it is to you and you feel comfortable, ask the divine to really, uh, uh, to really bring what is important and the best for you and everyone. The thing is, look at here, <coughs> excuse me, look at you sitting here, See how you're sitting here? <coughs> you have this big hurdle in front of you. You worried about that. You're sitting, but finally you put your head up. Finally you sat and you're looking up for help, for assistance from above. And look at this person up here. This could be you climbing over this mountain of, of, um, of what is going on in life, the, 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 the stress, the whatever it is that they're bringing, um, um, uh, bringing things to you, you know, bringing a stress to you. You climbed over that mountain. You prayed in here. You looked up, but you climbed. This cup was dark. Look at the cup, see? You see the cup? The cup was dark and it was so um, empty. Look, empty to the bottom. And you overcame that. You overcame that. You raised all above it. You're looking for the future. You're looking here, here for the future. Look how beautiful. You could see how you look to the future. You figure out why these hurdles are in 
in your past. You figure out what is it I need to learn? What it is teaching me? I'm mirroring something. Pay attention, pay attention, get grounded. Do your walk, do your walk. Feel your feet on the ground. Take your breath and pay attention to your space and what you're surrounded with. Get away from the internet. Get away from the phone. Give yourself time to just be. And the more you are, the more you are at peace and the more things are just a flow in life. Because when you are in the flow, this is when things are flow. This is beautiful in here. I love it. And you come into a place of receiving. Look at this why. See this why? It kind of opened up. And you get into a place where you're going to receive. You have two dots, two dots. And you are going to start to see your life receiving more and more. I pick two cards for us. And I got to look them up. The Jaguar. The Jaguar. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am sorry, you guys. I don't, I'm, I'm glad I'm doing it just one, <laughs> you know, one cup because I don't think I can handle both. Um, uh, I mean, not both, 12 signs, that will be too much. <coughs> <coughs> okay. The jaguar, look at this. The jaguar has a big, big, uh, important message uh, to play a big role in shamanism. The jaguar is the protector of all life in the Amazon. And in times of fear, she brings courage and certainty. Jaguar is at the top of the food chain and never become becomes a prey with a great uh, with a great stealth she can track her mark from a distance and not be seen or heard she moves gracefully through the jungle relishing the abundance of the rainforest fearless and at ease jaguar knows the way beyond death and is the master of the shadows, blending invisibly between light and dark, night and day. That is really beautiful. The medicine of the jaguar, what in your life need to be released? I think this came up in the coffee cup. What have you carried around with you far long, too long? which is ready to be let go of, of once and for all. Jaguar medicine is available to heal the fear so you can allow it to go. It is time to come out of the shadows and end the shadow games that you may have unconsciously agreed to play. Call on Jaguar to unfetter you from toxic relationships and recover your natural instincts for the right people and situations. The rainmaker, the rainmaker, interesting, huh? The rainmaker is the master of manifestation. Oh my gosh, you see, this is it. The coffee cup is so right. We have all the fear. We had that butterfly. We drag in our feet for so long, but we're not able to make the move. And the butterfly is there, is waiting, but the fear is holding us behind. Who uh, the, the, uh, the rainmaker is the master of manifestation who can call on the elements of nature to serve the greater good. Uh, 
When the power to co-create is used, used with integrity, great beauty and benefit flow to all. When this power is used for personal gain only, everyone suffer. This is so important, you guys. Go back and listen to this. Take a deep in. When the earth is parched, the rainmaker calls the waters from the heaven. And all that is dormant in the fields and in people's heart springs to life again. So what this, uh, this rainmaker is calling you, is calling you to create something in you from the elements. I don't know if you listened to maybe two, three weeks ago, I did a little meditation uh, just before we did the coffee caprit and talking about the connection to the five elements of the universe. It all require us, everything we do require us to be present so we can connect and feel our space and know what we're doing and, 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 and flow with it, you know? That, that you have a seed, it is like a seed need to be germinated in your heart and come forth to the sunlight. Don't hold it back, you guys, don't hold it back. The medicine of this um, rainmaker Recognize how you are co-creating your world. Oh my gosh, this is what I've been talking with <laughs> from beginning to now. Nothing is happening out there with your, without your involvement. So get grounded, put your feet on the ground. Take your walk, you walk in life anyway. You feel your feet and the space between you uh, and, and Mother Earth on this, on this journey. Feel it, breathe it. Make sure you connect and have your senses uh, more in touch with what is going on. Remember that the world is only mirroring back to you the condition of your love and your intent. So change these within before you take any action. Do not take life personally. Don't take things personally. You take it personally, you end up to, you end up really um, uh, uh, you, you end up uh, um, taking a long time to really um, um, move on on this, this walk, your walk, if you want it to flow nicely, if you want it to really go smoothly, you need to be aware, you need to be present, you need to connect, you need to connect the five elements of the universe, ether, Ether is the outer world. Are you connecting to the outer world? Yes, you can. If you, if you go in meditations enough, you really you receive messages from ether, from the outside world. You know, you're aware, you know? Anyway, you guys, this is a beautiful. But look at this. Look at this. This is really interesting. You see this bee in here? See this bee? We working so hard trying to make ends meet, trying to create. I'm sorry. I'm gonna ask you again to send me some healing, some energy, some love, some prayers, whatever it is, because I'm shocked that I really got sick. <laughs> And I did take the COVID shot, the COVID test. Uh, I, I'm, I don't have COVID, no, thank God. But it's having this cold and tell me that my body is run down. Anyway, you guys, <coughs> take care of yourself. Take care of your, your, um, uh, <coughs> Take care of your walk in this life. It is important. The walk is important. Be present. 
this is all what I have to say for this week. Love to you all. And I wish you all the best until we meet next week. Bye-bye for now.